Hey guys, what's up? I'm Alex, otherwise known as Supercar Blondie Hans Zimmer. This is one of the very first sounds you've made for the all new i4. That was the first time I actually got to hear it in the car. It's fantastic. I'm finishing off a movie called Dune, which I love, I love, I love, I love. I love working with this director, Denis Villeneuve. I mean, it's, it's sort of science fiction, but really what it is, it is a world that we have never been to. Yes. When you create soundtracks for movies, how different is that process to creating sounds for electric cars? Well, I can't, I can't do it any other way. I have to go and either hear the story that the director tells me or make up a story in my head. And for this one, I made up a story in my head. Yeah, because you have no script, you have no dialogue to go off, you have no actual movie scenes. You know, for instance, I'll, I'll tell you this, Interstellar, Chris Nolan and I are particularly bad at going to parties. So we're just standing, we, we had to go to some party and we were standing in the corner. Oh, you're the awkward guy in the we're corner. We're the awkward guys <laughs> in the corner. We're the awkward guys and we're talking about, we're talking about work and we're talking about sound. And suddenly I see so an idea light up in Chris's eye and he goes, if I were to send you a letter, just for you, and you would give me one day and just wrote whatever came to you with this letter, yeah. would you do it? Yeah. I'm going, yeah, sounds great. So I got this letter and it was typewritten on really thick paper. Yeah. And it just told me this fable, what it was like to be a dad. Okay. And it was, it was just beautifully written. And I sat down, I just wrote the thing on a Sunday. I phoned his house and his wife, Emma answered the phone at 10 o'clock at night and I said, I think I got something because really I was, uh, I was sort of writing a really fragile little piece about how much I loved my son. Right, right. And I said, look, I'll, I finished it, I, I'll, can I send it over? And Chris is curiously antsy, so he came down and I sort of played it to him and I said, so what do you think? And he sort of stopped a second and sort of went, hmm. Suppose I have to make the movie now. I'm going, what's the movie? So he starts talking about space and huge and rockets and everything. And in a funny way, that's how I approach this. I go, okay, it's huge, it's, it's BMW. And then you go, but how does that person, that one person who's gonna hit that button gonna feel like? Yes. And you write the story of that one person. Right. And that's it. Yeah. So your relationship with BMW goes back, you know, since you were growing up in Munich. Well, yeah, my relationship goes back. But my family always drove BMWs. You know, mm. like when you're a little kid and you're like, you're like, you don't want to go to bed and you're waiting for your mum to come home <laughs> and tuck you in. I remember just hanging out of the window and because I could absolutely distinguish the sound of her engine, oh, of her car. What, what BMW did she have? God, we had everything. We had, you know, like the little 1600, the 2002, the, you know, I mean, whatever there was. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. We had it at one point or the other. What I do know is, for instance, I know Munich in November at five o'clock in the morning when right. it's cold and foggy. Yes. And you're going down to your garage. You've got to get in your car. Yeah. And so you have a choice. You know, you're going to have a grumpy day or there's something that's just going to go on to make you feel a bit better. Yes. And I want that car to make you feel a bit better. I want the first thing that happens to you yeah. to make, to, to, to uh, be brighten, positive. Yeah, be positive, yes. brighten your yeah. day. Yeah.